Hello and welcome to Zachary Through TV. Yes, it's been a minute since I recorded a race. I uh, kind of just didn't have time there. Been doing a lot of online stuff and whatnot, so it's kind of been put on the deep fryer, or I wouldn't say deep fryer, but other pan, if you would, in terms of priorities. So yeah, here we are, North Wilkesboro, race 10 of our 40 race season here in 2024. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if this season went into 2025, which Yikes, but uh, oh well. well, we'll cook with it, do what we can. Uh, Eli, the little starting pole. This is his first pole of the season, number eight car. He's had an interesting rebound in points. Currently 13th in points, and right behind him, Garcella, meter 12th in points. Points leader, Sean Ard, starting up here looking to extend that points lead. I think he had it last time he raced at Bristol Dirt. I could be wrong. I know Geoff Jordan's been hot on his tail past few races. Bradley Ream, German Chiquiti, one's also there. There's some stuff to note. Um, last year's winner, Barney Thrush the third, starting sixth. Very interesting note. Uh, Reggie Fogelman starting in the top ten. Uh, Yoiko starting in the top ten. Putting out some guys you don't usually see up front. Not to dog on or anything. Bradley Reams also starting up here. He might try to crack down on the points lead if he's able to. Jenna Burridge, he's decently good at short tracks. He got part-time driver Lyle, or not Lyle, but, uh, uh, Jet 64, he's had some really good speed this year already. He was a win, won the York Peppermint Patties 400 in Pocono. Won last year in Talladega and Cup. And got his first uh, in smallest win a few weeks back. So, second one to go on. But we got Dark X Rain and Reggie Fogelman in the booth with us here today. Y'all got any first thoughts? I don't. Dark, you got anything? Well, pretty much what you said earlier, Eli gets his first pole. Then you have Gar, who's looking for his first win in a while. And I think our dark horse is going to be Sean Art. He's his nickname for another win. Yep, full send Sean. This is an interesting track to have that nickname at, I will say. Uh, decided to torture myself with this one, as we did in... Uh, I think we did it with Bristol Dirt as well. Or for Smoss and Cup. I think they both went to Bristol Dirt, didn't they? I think it was just Smoss. I don't recall. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I don't think Smoss went to the uh, Bristol Dirt. I think we did the Cup Series. One of them did something. I can't remember. But we did something. And, yeah, whatever. But, uh, yeah. Harder laps, so... Well, hopefully it's mostly under green. I know in years past we've not had green races here for very long, but single fall restarts, hopefully it'll help with that. But uh, we'll go ahead and go silent for the command. Drivers, start your engines. Command has been given. Eli Lowell's going to lead us off to the green for the first time this season. Hopefully no wrecks. Default yellows are on, so if I don't catch something, the game will. Might be some crashes that happen that don't throw yellow. We've seen a lot of those last year, or it feels like we did. I uh, went through the replay, uh, or I went through the old video and seen some wrecks that, that did not get yellows for them, so that's something. Anyone want to call the green? Oh, I guess they went a lot green, earlier. Green, 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 green. Green flag in the air. Went a lot earlier than I thought they would. But I guess that's where the restart zone is. Good jump for both the 8 and the 18. They're both going to clear Gar Salamator for second, and hopefully they make it through lap 1 without dying. And a three-part pull away. I think someone might have... Or wait, no, that was from practice. Never mind. I'm going to keep our standings on the back, though, just to be safe. So, no surprise. We're filing that pretty quick. North Wilkesboro, what do you expect? So far, so good. Lap 3, green flag so far. Now, I did not test to see if we would have any green flag pit stops. It's 100 laps. I could not give you an honest answer if it's going to be a fuel strategy race or not. Holy cow, they're through wide in the back. That is Roach. If, if you don't have any cautions, that is. Yeah, three wide is not good. Oh, oh seven and nine are dooring each other. Holy cow, twenty. 
Holy moly. They made it. I so think they made it. Turn number two. Uh, here comes a 50th bird. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. How? How? Okay. <laughs> and that, look, and that, look who's in the middle of it. Jeff Jordan, right in the middle of that. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Jordan, right there. By, oh, the two cars are around. Awesome. And that will be Daniel Paul Jr., I think. Yep, Daniel Paul Jr. self-spun in the front straight. There's, that's it. Surprisingly enough. Let's see what happens. And we might have a pile up at the end of that. Let's hope not. Uh, I don't think he's alright. I think he's just catching up whatever spot. Oh. Yeah, we can have a big pile up. Ah! Uh, so uh, we have some, I don't know who's in a five. I'm, I'm guessing that. Oh, I, uh, I'm seeing some spin cars, but that's not like definition of damage. I think the 88. I mean, that was three wide. Three and only, the only car I think really is the 21, the 88 really got notable damage from that. I think everyone else is fine. Granted, though, that shouldn't be happening, but oh well. So, let's go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and pause the games just in case we need... So, seven lap run. Not bad. I'm going to go ahead and turn on green white checkers just in case we need him. Let's go ahead and see what happened to Daniel Paulus Jr. off of four. Looks like he got in the back of the 63. Damn. Got yeah. loose and there the money goes. Yeah. I don't think he got a lot of damage from that. Granted, he lost a ton of spots. So. He yeah, ain't well, maybe some of it back. Don't yeah, went from 15th to 27th, so we'll see. Uh, looks like everyone else is running okay. Let's check our chat. Uh, 18 might be having some issues. D07 having a mechanical issue. They're going to pit with that, see if they're able to continue in the race or not. Um, uh, yeah, Jonah Burge, he had... At least he's not out. I would say he had decent track position as well, but I think he lost quite a few spots there as that run went on. I could be wrong. But he had a mechanical issue hindering him. That's going to cost him quite a few more spots and definitely doesn't need that. German Chickity One also back here who does not need a bad run. She's just like th fourth in the standings, so unfortunately for them. We're gonna go green next time by. Looks like not much changes up front in terms of positioning. With single file starts, hopefully it, the the um the uh, whole atmosphere just chills. Uh, yeah, single file start from here. Eli the Wolf has led every lap so far. One crash, it was the two car, and we had a crash on pacing afterwards. As far as I'm aware, no one is out of the race. Everyone's still in it. Jonah Burge had a mechanical issue. He has already pitted to repair that. And to whatever extent the game says, or whatever the extent the game would have. So, yeah. Want we'll to call the green here, Reggie? Green, green, green. Terrible start for that 18 car. That 18 car did not go. That's going to allow the 26 to get underneath him. I have not seen a start that bad in a long time. Gunther just did not go. Big slide there by the 59 and the 26. That's going to cost Gunther a couple spots. Points leader Sean Ard coming up to third now. All Sailmaner in second. Looks like we have something on our chat bar. I'm not sure if that's an accident or not. Doesn't look like it. Looks like uh, the 21 has went to pit road. The I'm guessing the five went to pit road. I'm not sure what the strat is there. Uh, they might be on a fuel strat. Oh, the zero five. And we got a wreck on the front straight. It looks like uh, whatever strat they had is toast. So hopefully they pass the line before they get lapped. I don't think the 05 will, but someone else will. Oh wow, I don't know who spun on the front strip, but somebody did. I mean, we're going to get their lap back, or at least one of their laps. Was it the 77? 
It looks like the 55 is sideways here. Oh, before that. Level? Oh, they're involved. Neither is more. Ahead of Elf. That do see smoke. Yeah, I'll see what happened here first. But that's Zebel and Joy Paints, and then Zebel. I want to see what happened ahead. Yeah, Zebel, Joy see... Paints, slowed up off the corner, both wrecked hard. Drummer Chick involved. Doing a bird, you will avoid. For a little bit, but I think he's involved. It looks like the 48. Zach is to 48. I, could, I think you're right. That is not a Wii, by the way. Yeah, uh... Uh, this was in 19th. Are you wrecking? No, 28 got bumper oh, grabbed. Also, someone else as well. Uh, I'll just I 28. Get dumped by ring, but it was another guy. No, I think I think he got on the 28's rear on the exit. Vince Freeze. Yeah, bumper grab. Tried to. Yeah, 28 was coming down, he was coming up, nowhere to go. 23 involved, and you're just an innocent, innocent bystander. Oh boy. But yeah, I know the 05 might have got screwed over there. Depends on where they are scored lap wise on who's going to get the lucky dog. It looks like the 50. Well, the 55 is the reason for the L, so they can't, but 21 will get a free pass here. Between him and the, if he's in front of the leader in front between the pit car, he maybe he maybe they get to wave it around. And yeah, I'm not worried about it. But the 05 will be, well, the next eligible will be Zevil since he went and lapped down under yellow and probably imagine repairs. So some cars damaged. Still, everyone's still in the race. Some with more damage than others, though. Uh, that was a rough wreck. Joy paints heavy damage. I think Zevil took some air time there. But back to the front, uh, I think Eli the Wolf is putting on a clinic right now, lap 18. We're going to agree next time by. This 21 should have been able to get around pretty fine. Give you points, so that's what he's looking for. Yeah, now granted, points are not as OP as they were last year, so if he just has to stay out here for more than anyone else, and he gets that bonus that he needs. Has the pull already, so he could get two 10-point bonuses. But more importantly than that, he needs to finish pretty decently to get any big gain going and pretty decently would be first place and you'd also get another nine points over the person behind you or I think it would be eight I'm not sure I have to check the math for doing points and the game has had the same idea as I did go over here next time I gotta think we got an interesting top 10 at least Interesting indeed. So since I obviously cannot scale lap down cars damage and speed from the standings, I'm just gonna pretend I'm gonna ignore it. So hopefully that don't cause an issue. Is the twenty six having an issue? I think the twenty six has an issue. 26 has an issue. Oh, it's big crash in the back. Again. And that's another caution. Big crash in the back. Something happened to the 26, and everyone plowed into the back. Pile up on the front straight. 20's done. My game freak is going to be out. Yeah, everyone was trying to avoid this 26. Yeah, just, something happened. You could tell something was wrong as they were approaching it. The uh, fuel system failed. Fuel fuel system failure on that 26. They did not need this either. They were running pretty decent in the standings, but and it just didn't go. And then everyone else was checking out. Was like, all right, I'm gonna pass you high, and that did not end well for quite a few cars. Big pile up, humongous. Holy cow! Parking lot. Parking lot on the front street. I don't even want to know. Um, I'm not gonna yield any free passes there because there's gonna. Everyone was involved in that, and so I think the leader wrecked the somebody after the yellow. But yeah, that was that was bad. So let's. I think we reviewed it pretty good. So everyone's pitting this time for fuel and tires. I tell everyone was gonna have to pit this race at least once.
they're gonna do it now. I think I'm the twenty eight. Yeah, because someone stayed out. Yeah, the uh, freeze. Fence freeze. Interesting. He's falling on a decent strategy. Hey, he's gonna get some points for leading a lap. I think the. Not the stayed out either. We have yeah, he's, he's for position. I, we have somebody uh, yelling. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's for position, yeah, surprisingly enough. I think the 55's a lap down, but not eligible for the free pass since he was involved in the wreck. So 55's going to get sent to the back once we go back going. Yeah, we have a couple of guys that stayed out. Yeah, those seven had some damage, but you know, at this point, if you're Jonah Burge, you don't got much to lose. Vince Freeze got some, I think at this point, a lot of those cars in the back uh, have a ton well, of damage. Oh, well, never mind, yes. Oh, those guys are a lap down. Messi, yeah, lap down Messi cars. Messi stayed out. Messi, Messi stayed out. Messi's got a mechanical issue. You sure it's mechanical? Looks like it, the way they're going. That or they're waiting no. for the pace car. He's waiting for the pace that car. Or he got he's transmission issues. Well, if he did he's wait on the pace out. car, he's not in the I lead. Mean, he he's... stayed up, but he's about to go a lap down. No, he was a lap down at the time of the, when the ca after the caution came out because he had to pit for repairs. So he's going to sit to the back anyway. Um... One car out of the race so far, it's the 20. I'm amazed it's not more, but a lot of cars on pit road going laps down and repairing it. So, yeah. I I'm imagine lucky that. Dog at the moment. Yeah. Well, we're not doing lucky dogs for this one because that reckon the cars that are eligible for it were uh, involved in it. So I'm not going to do it for this one. Maybe next one if they're not the reason, if they're not involved in it. So, five cars going to the back. Holy cow, Daniel Paulus is still in this race. Um, surprisingly enough, 26 is still in as well. However, you're going to be sent to the back for the restart. Um, that was a typical... So, I was going to pace minus, but I decided against it. So up front is the 28 of Vince Freeze. Yeah, he stayed off the track position, but. See if it works. 89 yeah. goes to pit road, so is the 50. And already getting challenged for the lead by Jonah Burridge. Ooh, nice in in the inside. Charles is going to follow, but he's getting pressured by. Oh, big slide by Jessica. Big block on the bottom from Kazo. Kazo's not going to make it stick. Ballsy move by some of these guys pit strategy wise. But uh, if we don't get another yellow, they might be screwed. Several cars still pitting for damage as the caution is back out now. The 0-7 leads it to the green. Looks like uh, I really have no idea. Looks like we have a, something bad happened in the back. It looks like a lot of car. I guess pit road is open this time, but I guess they're pitting now. Does 51 have an issue? Oh, that's going to be trapped a lot down because it is. Who is? I said a few of those guys are going to be trapped a lot down. Uh, I'll keep in my notes that the 94 is the free pass, unless he was involved in the caution. Uh, I don't even know what to call them pits. Some of these guys have some crazy pit strategies. When the caution came out, why would they pit when the why would they pit before the caution? That don't make any sense. That's stupid. Well, that have been a different strategy, and the caution screwed them. That was a stupid strategy. I'm waiting for them caution lights. Strategy, regardless. But what is that like? Half the field. Oh, okay, that's caution. And it happens there. Uh. So that guy spit it a lap before the caution came out. I'm pretty sure it happened in the back straight here. Oh, all right, there's someone backwards. Rubber chick and. I don't know who the... Yeah, the guy that missed my oh. bumper, so it's hard to tell who it is. Or Salamander. Oh, it's Gar. Oh, yeah, they're going... They're just going four wide. Yeah. 
plain and simple. And of course, Cody is in it. Cody, drummer chick, lethal mourner, forgets to use the brakes. So uh, somehow those guys are still in the race. So free pass goes to number 94 with some odd fuel strategies, but that'll make it interesting to see for track position. I think the 07 still stayed out. Or no, they didn't stay out. They did pit. Uh, so would that cycle the, the 8 back to the front? No, they are not back to the front. So who's in, who's in the lead? Somebody stayed out. Jeff Jordan? Like the guy seconding points is in the lead? Okay, okay. He's got a ton of damage, but all right. I mean, these guys are just pressing the envelope on their luck. Holy cow. I was going to say Zion up here in the top 10, but no, he's a lap down, so he's going to get sent to the back when they go back on. But yeah, Zion, you got Real Gaming Freak, LJ Toledo, um, Frank Chilton, uh, uh, Jacob Shangle, Barry Thresher still up here, Kazo, Yoiko, Sean Ard still up here. Keeping that points that points battle real close. Then saving a box, so that's going to be interesting. So... 97 is going to the back, as well as some other cars. So. This is basically a battle either hit to get fresh tires and fuel, or you stay out to get they stay and get the position. Yeah, this has been a wreck fest so far. I mean, I'm surprised that the first seven laps were the cleanest part of the race. But somehow they were. So, 90, 97, or yeah, 94 should be on the lead lap. So, next car on the free pass, if he stays on the lead lap until the next caution, should be the 55 Zevil. After almost Rick being fifth. eligible twice. So, the 55 is <laughs> purely waiting for that next caution right now. I don't know. We've, we've gone a couple laps green run every time it does go green, though. Give it that. Oh my gosh! What a save! Some told me someone in the back isn't gonna save it as well as they're gonna probably wreck here. Someone probably didn't save it so well in the back. I'm seeing my chat light up. Nope, 55 is pitting more fuel strat in the back. A lot. Holy cow! Why? Are, that is some weird fuel strat. All right. <laughs> So Jacob Shangle, Jacob Shangle's in third now. Gift Jordan pulled away with the lead, leading laps. So that's another thing to just keep note of. 42 is leading laps, 67. I don't think it's Ledney yet. So we got cars coming out of pit road as well. So we got to watch out for these guys too. Hopefully they don't become a hazard. What a racing but, after all. But they're definitely gonna do something for this battle for the lead. It's a weird fuel strap, man. I cannot tell you how weird this is. 23 in the back almost died. Holy cow. Earlier stage, traffic is going to be a factor. Oh, that traffic is it's almost like they spit it back on the track. It's almost like some of these guys are getting penalties or something. I don't think it's the same cars pitting, though, because we had an influx of cars coming that last time, but now we only have a few. Yeah, this, this pit strategy makes no sense, because you're just putting yourself a lap down and setting yourself up for failure. It makes no sense. In our system 3 AI, I will never understand. Still green, by the way. Somehow. And you had your kettle for 21 years. Thought it, them not surprised. thought it was a 94 I seen that almost spun out in the back. I guess it's someone else. Um, it's just people pitting for... Weird fuel strap, man. I cannot tell you. We're not past halfway yet either, so Eli the Wolf has not locked up most laps led, and at this point might not even have the chance. Jeff Jordan could. Jeff. They're going to get to stay out longer. Jeff Jordan could do something crazy here. Granted, I think he already has a win this season. I forget where he got it, but he did win this season already. So he's looking for win number two of the season. Win number three of his career, he won Watkins Glen in 2022. It was a part-time entry. Yeah, that 89 and the 50 keep going to pit road. I really don't know what the issue is there. We don't have that pit stall thing, so whatever they're doing there, 
I I don't really know. I mean, they're not causing any wrecks. So I guess not, I'm not gonna DQ them, but I, they're That's not. Hard. I really don't know what they're doing. It's that same two cars that keep pitting. Mm, they stayed out longer this time. They can stay at all they want, man. They are five laps down. They are not in contention for any fuel strat at this point. Lethal Mortar going, I don't even know how many laps down he is in. We got a caution on the front straight now. Hey, that was a decently long green flag run. Oh, they're plowing in. Oh. So let's see. So someone has spun out pretty freshly here in turn one. Uh oh, Zevil, Zevil, Zevil the Devil, Zevil. He was. This was his third chance Let's for see. the free pass to. Did he get loose uh, or did he get hurt? It looks oh, like Bra four wide. Four wide. He had some help from Bradley Ream. Bobby Isaac and Wilmot got some damage too. Everyone else avoided Man, pretty good. And then you had some Better plows. <laughs> He had some plows coming to the yellow, so that's great. Leader Geff Jordan in the pits. Um, okay. I have no idea at this point who's where. Strategy's all over the place. Then you got that the 89 and the 50 yeah. we keep pitting. So free pass, I let me see. I think it would go to the 71. So, 71 is going to get free pass. So, who's the leader now? <laughs> the leader is the car that plowed into the wreck. Yeah. What do you know? To be fair, the 27 is in front of the leaders, so I'm going to wave him too. Because he's in front of the leaders now since everyone else pitted. So, I'm going to wave him a lap. He no point in holding him a lap down, where whatever laps he's down, I think he's two down. Yeah, he was two down. So he was in front of the leader, so he should get that back. So, okay. Wait around, he's ahead of the leader and behind the pace car. So much, to, so much to unpack from this race. We're not even halfway yet, and it's kind of a wreck fest. But, we've gotten some green flag run spurts, so... Not all else yet. Zevil's still in this race. I, th I don't even know how many directions he's been involved in. But he's still in it. Still, still in it. Oh, yeah. Some guys are hitting early. Some guys are staying out late. Other than the hope and the prayer. Yeah. I'll say, how many cars are on the lead lap? So 22 cars in the lead lap. That's not a horrible, bad analysis, to be fair. Considering how bad this... Or how... I wouldn't even say bad. I think it's just pure entertainment of how wild this race has went. Where am I would look for is wonky. It's not good, it's not bad, but it's wonky. Well, this race is either a snooze fest or it's something. This is something. I'm not going to do a lot of pace minusing. That way I don't have to worry about... The field being goofy. Thought I waved the 71. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna have to just give him his lap back at the start. Yeah, I think he might have did it a bit early. Maybe. I mean, at this point, it's too late. I'm just gonna have to give him his lap back once we go green. Yeah. your leader. And he is a bad champion of another series. Smoss. Yeah, so we are now back green. Alright, 71's back on the lap. Alright, hopefully we get some more green flag runs going. Oh, look who's taking last year's winner. Here he comes. I think, I, I think at this point, at least leading a lap as last year's winner... Is something is something to take away from this. He's gonna do it here. He's got something to show for this race. He's led a lap in the race he won last year, so W enough. Halfway this time, hopefully it's green. We take it. There's a 50 in the 
several cars pitting again. Some with strategy, and then you got the 89 and the 50 that are just on pure crack. Kazo in second. He's a, he's a snoozer. He's got a snooze on. Sadly enough, he had a really crazy run in his rookie year. Or I say crazy, but he had some wins. Well, just like Gift Jordan being up front, led some laps. Granted, he's I think he's still top, he's top ten still. Sean Art is back in third. Yeah, might be your dog horse pig at the moment. A lot of racing to go. We just went halfway. We got the halfway point, lap 52, and caution is out again. Yep, same area too. Uh, I'm gonna guess. Does it Joy Paints? No. I could not tell you. So I'm gonna have to go to pit lane one and just guess. Cody? I think he's a lucky dog at this point. Unless he thought the caution. Alright. No, it wasn't Joy Paints. Yeah, it was it 94. Was... Jet is Jet. I guess he slipped on some. Oh. Got into the 82. Again. 71, nowhere Get to go. Yeah, that's just a single car wreck. Nothing bad. So, free pass. 60 at Cody Forge. So he's going to get the wave around. And I know he's getting the wave around because I see him going. So, yeah. Who is oh. the leader now? Alright, uh, Barney did not pit, so... Barney Thresher third is not pit, so he's still in it. In the lead at that. He decides to stay out. Don't blame him. So I'm going to let this just roll out, this whole caution, because uh, this is a big field to just unpack. So no one was really in front of the leader to get another wave around, so next car in the free pass position is Dark X-Rain, then so forth, so on. Then you get two lap down guys, and then I'm not even going to mess with the 50 and the 89. They're, they're just lost cause. 55 and 26 have just had the worst races of their lives. Um, Drummer Chick and Messi just caught up in one bad wreck, had to repair a bunch of damage, so they're caught three laps down. Then those cars are two laps down, just having a rough race too, but the one lap downers, I think, just had bad pit stops and strategy. Some of the two downers too, but more so the one downers. Check our chat button, see if anything interesting has happened. Nope, just Bird going back in and out of pit road. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to count how many times that 50 or eight and 89 car went to pit road. Like they both got involved in one wreck and have been pitting almost every time. It's almost like they have a fuel leak and they're like pitting every lap to make sure they can finish their race. And they're like coming in and pitting and fixing that fuel leak every little bit every time they come in pit road. Still only one DNF despite this this crap shoot. <laughs> this crap shoot has provided one DNF and it was from the parking lot. How many times I go a lap down? Yeah. Well, I mean, not exactly. You can go like, you can, you can pin under yellow and not lose a lap. So that's probably what they've been I doing. Did it yet? All right, going green this time. The whoever that is in the middle of the pack is gonna go to the back. Those cars we have going to the back for these things, I think the more clean runs we'll have. But then again, people keep making crazy sins. So we get, we get these like five, four, three lap runs, seven from the beginning, and then they just someone goes four or three wide and causes a small wreck at this point is what we're seeing. Barney Thresh the third leading, trying to. He's gonna try to, you know, if he can hold this lead, which I'm be dead real probably can't, but if he does, and wins the race, he'll go back to back. North Wilkesboro races and first win of the season after a four win season last season, but Kazu has something to say about it. What are you bring me to that line? Well, bad. That's big, bro. He's going to stay in the lead. And I'm going to go far behind. Not hard. They may look for another one. Speaking of. Yeah, that's it, man. That's a chunk of it. Oh. 
Ring them six. Roach having a decent run. Haven't really talked about Roach much. Still, Smolmont, despite his awful day, is still somehow in the top ten. Oh, we got lap cars up here. Holy shoot. 89. Right in front yeah. of the leaders. It's kind of a bad spot. If they wreck, if he if he wrecks the leaders, I'm parking him. I am not putting up with this. If he causes the wreck, I'm parking that. I'm parking the 89 car. I'm just gonna do a little corruption and park the 89 car because of it. Now he cost Martin Thrusher the third a ton of spots, unfortunately, but we still green, so we ball. It's kind of racing. It's your job to get around the car that is slowing you. Yep. So you can't really blame a car that is a back marker. They're just trying to stay on the lead lap as the best way they can. Bro, they are seven laps down. Actually, check notes. They are eight laps down. Nine laps down. If you would have said ten laps down, that would have been more. That would have been more accurate. Give them, a, give them a minute. Just give them a minute. It's a lap fifty-five I mean, of a hundred. Give them a minute. <laughs> That. He has oh. hard, he had a lot of heart. We got more lap cars. Look how we got Messi. Sal Salamander was top ten mm. twice in this point of the race. Had a fuel issue. It went downhill from there on that restart. He had that fuel issue. Stunned, he's still in the race, but still in the race and I think only a few laps down. Well they're he had one car out, I believe. They're Yeah, they're five laps down. They're pretty cooked. Yeah, they're pretty cooked. All these cautions, only one guy is up. So at Actually, this point, guys are just struggling the race. Yeah, the uh, 61 and the 51 currently leading. Kazo hasn't really had a really great run since 2022. Didn't really do great last season. It's a pretty cow redemption arc. You looking for a win? Yep, he's in prime position. I say prime position. It's lap 68 of 100. Most of it's been under caution, which is sad, but, well, I say most of it, but most of it's just been bad, bad race. But, it's interesting, chaotic. I gotta have something for the viewers. Give them something to look forward to. Two of these cautions, and somehow... Somehow that two cars still in the race. I don't think it's not gonna last for too long. Somehow that two cars still in the race. They have no front end. They're involved in that parking lot wreck. I'm gonna just call that wreck the parking lot wreck. It was so bad. Zevil about to go to another lap down. He was looking for potentially a free pass. He's not even got the pace to hold it now after being involved in so much. Which sucks. <laughs> Zevil has had no luck this season. I'd say no luck. He's just had mediocre luck. Pretty, not not the greatest. He's had decent results to show, but overall yeah, nothing great. But, it, but it's bad luck. Yeah. You've been unlucky. As Bird gets again. You can go finish this thing on pit road at this rate. Get with the guard. He may be multiple laps down, but he's finally least. Well, never mind. I think we went green like lap. As he goes, lap down. I think we went green like lap 57. So we this is our longest green flag run by far. Stay green. It is bullshit. Yep. Roach has snuck up into third. He's got his teammate leading. On a bad day in the business for the Roach Racing team. So far. Vince Freeze right now in position for his first potential top five. Sean R trying to do something about that, I think. I'm not sure. We'll see. Or no, uh, Vince Freeze is in seventh. I guess I didn't keep in mind how many cars are in between. So you got Yoika, Roach. Huh. Okay, I Let's forgot see. about Bradley Ream. Bradley Ream's in fifth. 
He's had a. That is crazy how he's in fifth. Holy cow. Wow. The gap is getting smaller. Right now it's getting smaller. Uh, we'll see if they can shrink it anymore. The biggest block right now is Gar Salamander. If they can't get around Gar, they definitely aren't getting around Kazo. Gar Salamander's not horribly off pace. Probably went a lap down because they had to pit after the green cycle went through, or after it went green, which I really don't understand. But oh well. The thing I noticed, Gar got good straight line speed, but not good on the corners. Interesting. But seen hard to begin though. That's what they moved a lot better. Oh, not over yet. About 20 to go next time by, or not next time by, but a couple times, a couple more laps. I mean, Yoko's obviously faster, but it's like battling a car for position, and, and uh, at this point, Gar's not really putting up a huge fight. Yoko arguably Thanks. probably has some damage when they plowed into the wreck. That they plowed into, that I remember them plowing into. Yeah, EJF Gar has good straight line speed, while Yoko has good cornering speed. Yep, Yoko is going for it here. Yep, yeah, exactly what I'm talking about. You got him in the corner, he does in the stretch where he has the issue. He will complete the pass. Yep, now Roach is going to try to get around it as well. Looks like he's successful. And Kaz are getting held up by uh, Zine right now. Yeah, that side by side run Yoiko had with uh, Gar, though, they, they lost all that time to Kazo. Now they got another lap car to worry about, and that's Zine in 97. There's more in front of that. Mask Fireball 48 and Crazy BGD, who also does not have a front end. Wick Rare Racing has had a rough day. Probably works good in Kazo's favor. The more loud cards you get to pass, the more it hurts for Yoko to help him get, get close to him. 100%. Actually, you know what? Let me check my notes. Or not check my notes, but let me. I think Kazo won this race in 2022. They won here in 2022. I think they got their first win at this track, and they went back and won Nashville after. Or that or was the other way around. So if I remember right, the, this would not be their first win at this track. First win in a hot minute, I do know that. They've been winless for a hot minute. Working the way through traffic better than Yoiko. Yeah, Yoiko. Now, Yoiko has not won since... Uh, well, they got two wins in Smos, led to their championship, and uh, I think we just got a yellow. We did just get a yellow, so smoke. caution is out. Yeah. Hopefully they don't plow into it like dumb idiots. So, uh, yeah. My name is, who caused the caution? For the seventh time, I believe. Sammy in the box. Oh, it was... Sammy in the box. We had a really good ring, green flag run there. Uh, looks, oh, this was, was for 11th. He had a wolf in. Yeah. Now that's a name I haven't seen in a while as well. Yeah, he, he, he started Look, pole, led a bunch of done. laps. Frank Chilton really know where to go. Yeah, Eli moved him up the track right in front of Frank. Geff led a ton of laps, also involved. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just bad situation. I still cannot believe there's only one car out of this race. <laughs> With all that's happened. No happens now. now, we can have overtimes. That can happen. So, um, I'm going to wave the 0 5 because they're just in the way. So, I'm going to give. Well. 
Yeah, I'm away this is zero five. First car two laps or three laps down. And then free pass. Free pass down. goes to dark. So there's 20 the car and they're landing the out. Alright, then I'm gonna first car two laps down, 63. Then I'm that's all I'm doing. That's I don't wanna do too much. So first car three laps down, first car two laps down, first car one lap down. Mainly because I don't want a bunch of cars having to get moved to the back from the front. Uh, granted, the 66 is going to get moved to the back, but in the nine, but less the better, less issues. So I'm just kind of putting in a little corruption there. So first car lap down, first car two laps down, first car three laps down, got laps back. That's because I'm corrupt. Nine laps to go. Uh, probably run less than that, so... And we yeah, can't have already. overtimes, so... But I'm just gonna let the game take over from here in terms of just pacing and yellows, because I don't want any issues... any more issues than we already have. So I have our top 10 standings also up here on the side, um, as well as the ticker, but that way you can see the top 10 specifically, because our ticker isn't pogger amazing. I mean, it's Okay, it's not a pretty decent ticker, but it's like not like vertical ticker. You can't see like top ten and all that. So yep. let's go green this time. It's the nine car going to the back, as well as the ninety-seven. And, uh, top twenty-four on the lead lap now. It's dark rains free pass. Then I get the next little car to come up with the twenty-seven. Yeah, potentially sixty-three. And Reggie. That might be a one caution deal where I was giving back the you know, second and third laps down, but we'll see if that becomes an issue because I don't want a whole bunch of cars up here getting lapped. So, and it can't, I don't think it'll happen. We only got like nine laps unless they all pit, which might be weird. And then they wouldn't get any laps back. So, all right, back in the air, even playing field, or well, I say even playing field, but the 51 did not get the best of starts. Roach going to try to make it a Roach Racing one two if he can. I don't read it. Nobody in between that 51 and 61 is going to come down to who has the better car at this point in the race. So you move in the back, Lyle Toledo trying to get some spots late in this thing. Well, yeah, it's a third car boy. Yeah, 59. Not as fast as these guys right now. Single car team this year with Marty Thresher third. He's got speed, but doesn't show near as much as the bond that Bra Motorsports had last season. It was strong, it was stronger than what they had in 2021. Team disbanded after the team owner left. I don't know how, but we have lap cars in a run that was shorter than 10 laps. I'm not even going to ask. Too late in the race. I'm not going to bother DQ nobody. If they if they cause an issue, so be it. So, lap cars. mostly got it. So the guys are moving out of the way. They're letting the leaders battle each other. Yep. Very smart by the lap cars. Let the leaders by. Let them, let them battle each other out. However, that did not change the fact that they did slow the 51 down. Coming to the white flag this time. Oh, that's slow from the last chance. I don't think he's got it. Unless he gets a monster oh. run off a of two. He's close, but I don't think he's going to be close enough. And Kazo, 
first time in, I want to say, two years, wins in the CCS at North Wilkesboro. It was a very eventful race. Yep. Oh, there's your top ten. Interesting top ten. Just looking for pure curiosity behind this. See what we have. Well, they say expect and expect it. Yeah, oh, that's what 100 laps does to... Uh, I wanted to torture myself, and I definitely did. So, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, give a like, subscribe. Uh, yeah, y'all got any last thoughts, Darker Reggie? Well, you had a great strategy, and I'm not ready for the win. And no one's been made. I think I'm saying, you know, it's all done with this. And a good top 10 goes for, I guess, I go into the 64. Yeah, Jacob Shangle in the top 10, so that's cool. Uh, Roach Racing, uh, I think, if it's a, let me double check my notes here, but I think the entirety of Roach Re Racing got a top 10, along with a win, which would be a very interesting strat, or stat, I would say. But, uh, here, uh, let, me, let me pull up quick. And do, 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 do. Bradford gets the top five as well by finishing four. Ah, so one, one Roach Rare E Racing car did not get a top ten. It was Six Slam, the rookie. Uh, he finished 24th. That first car a lap down, though. So give him, give him that at least. If he wanted to put something forward, he could have. As for me, Dark X Ray and Ridge Fogelman, I don't know who will all still here, but uh, oh yeah, they're all still here. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you want, I live stream Wednesday nights at like 9 Central, 10 Eastern, usually somewhere around there. And usually, instead of Corsa, um, if that season's over, we might do something different. Just some typical live stream stuff, but uh, yeah. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.